Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Okay, if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week at 10 a.m. CST. I upload lifestyle, beauty, and Bible-related videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. What today's video is about is my February favorites, things that I was loving in February, my February finds. <sighs> and I am so happy that all of my favorites came in my subscription boxes. So let's just give Ipsy and BoxyCharm a round of applause this month. Okay, that's enough. So <laughs> what we're gonna go ahead and get into is my favorites. I guess we could go ahead and start in the order that we apply, that I apply things in. So the first thing I have is my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And one reason I've really been loving this in the month of February is because the tip of this eye pencil or this eye, did I call it an eye pencil? Eyebrow pencil is just so fine that you can get like really small lines and hair strokes. And the reason I've really been loving that is because actually on this eyebrow, I was shaving all the peach fuzz off my face my hand slipped and boom, boom, shaved off the whole tail end of my eyebrow. So this has been good for every day because it's not too harsh where I can go in and just draw myself a little tail in if I'm not wearing makeup, but also on the days that I am wearing makeup, this stays in place. It's super pigmented. It's not too creamy and it's not too dry. It's like the perfect consistency. And like I said, since it does have that super fine tip, you can um, get like really, really hair-like strokes. And I have mine in the shade Blackest Brown because it matches my natural color up here. <laughs> Not all this dyed stuff, but up here. So the next thing that I usually start with is my eyes. And so what we're gonna go ahead and talk about is an eyeshadow primer. And this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. And this is just their two or three dollar one. I have mine in the shade Sheer. And then I believe that there's like uh shimmery one i don't know but i have mine in the shade sheer it has no kind of pigment to it and like once you blend it out it is like gone like it it blends away like it gives you like a wash of color like it lightens your eyelids very little it almost it, it almost makes your eyelids look ashy but, but don't let that scare you away from it what i mean whenever i say that is like it is gonna like cancel things out just a smidge but I like to set it down because I noticed that even when I set it down with a cream eyeshadow or an a translucent powder it like even that makes it look patchy so I do recommend setting it with an eyeshadow with with an eyeshadow with some sort of cream eyeshadow or translucent powder but other than that this has been making my eyeshadows last all day long even to the like I need to do a sweat proof workout proof makeup look for you guys because on the day that i do my makeup i don't take my makeup off for the gym i don't find that it affects my skin or anything like that so like that don't bother me but i will wear my makeup into the steam room and like my eyeshadow looks exactly the same when i get out as when i went in even before my workout it looks the same from the moment that i apply it <laughs> till i take it off at the end of the night like that's how good this little two to three dollar eyeshadow is so i do recommend picking this up oh, i almost forgot an eyebrow product so one thing I fell in love with again because I did a video where I use makeup that I own oh, makeup that I I did a video where you, where basically it's a full face of nothing but makeup that I received in pre prescription subscription boxes and one of those things was the billion dollar brows brow pin so it has this weird three tip type of line and it just that's how it that's how it goes onto your brows. You can get a thick line like that, or if you go in with the tip, it does give you like the three hair like strokes. It works better on your brows and on your hand, but yeah, it does give you like really, really hair like strokes. And I find when I use this, like my brows do not budge. 
like they don't budge whatsoever i use this more so just to fill them in and then i brought and then i'll usually outline them with my shady slim brow pencil so i do recommend this and like i said this is my billion dollar brows the micro blade the micro blade effect brow pen and I have mine in the shade dark. The next thing I want to mention is this Il Maquillage Ink Eyeliner. And this is their ink liner. And I have mine in the shade black. This is just what the tip looks like. And you guys, like, look at that. This eyeliner is so easy to work with that I've been doing my eyeliner, like, so much more even on a day where like i don't put on eyeshadow and i'll just throw a bronzer in the crease like i'll go in with this liquid liner and just freehand a wing like i won't use my elf eye tapes because that's how easy this liner is it doesn't budge it's easy to work with it's super matte black it's super black as you can see like i'm not applying a lot of pressure when i do that like i'm barely touching my skin and that line is just how dark that it is. And so I did get this in my Billion Dollar Brows, I believe I got in my Boxy Charm. This I got in my Ipsy. Once again, I will have a video of me using almost all of these products. Okay, and then some lashes that I recently fell back in love with because I told you guys, like, I'm trying to use, like, more of my makeup. So I've been trying to do my deal that I made with myself was... I have to do my makeup at least five times a week. So I only get two days, like I'm only allowed two days where I don't put on any makeup. And so within doing that, I did go back in with my Salon Perfect 614 lashes. Guys, I really love these lashes for the days where I do just throw a bronzer in the crease and some liner because they look like lash extensions. Like if you place these just right on your eye, like on your eyes, like you won't even be able to tell they're falsies because the band is super thin, they're super wispy. It looks like you literally just added length to your lashes and that's it so those are some of my favorite lashes they're super easy to apply and whatnot next oh sorry the last thing for eyes is mascara so this was actually my birthday gift from sephora and it was a whole little set of like of sample size products from milk makeup so it's like a whole little set of sample size products from milk makeup and one of them was the kush fiber mascara so this is just what the wand looks like. This is what I have on my lower lashes today. I love this for my top lashes and my lower lashes. So on days where maybe I won't do a wing eyeliner and you'll actually be able to see my lashes, I love this mascara. It doesn't smudge as much as other mascaras do on me. I'm starting to think that mascaras just smudge on me, but this one doesn't smudge as much. And so I really like this. And as you can see, my lower lashes right now, like you can see them, like they are visible. And that rarely happens with mascaras. So this one, I would really invest in the full size of this one. I really would because that's how much I really like this mascara. So getting into the face, this is now, I said like three S's. So getting into the face now, a primer that I have fallen in love with. And mind you, I've only been using this from like mid-April, mid what? Mid-February on. And that is the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. And this is the Primer Focus. Wow, oh, Prime Focus Primer Serum. And this is hydrating. You guys, this, the first time I tried this, I'm not sure what foundation I used, what powder I used, but I was convinced that this primer serum was awful. And I tried it out again with my favorite foundation combo, which I'm going to mention. I tried it out again with my favorite foundation combo, and you guys, this since i have used this my foundation does not budge during my workout and i sweat now well, i sweat good now or the steam room there was no water streaks on my face like of course when i dabbed my face with a paper towel like you know you you see like why do all foundations look orange when you take them off Side note, but anyways, like, you know, you can see the foundation on the paper towel, but after I dab the sweat off or whatever, and I look at my face, like the only, like, like maybe my blush faded and that's it. But highlight, bronzer, everything is still on my face. Everything is still in place. There's no like water lines that like, I don't know. But the only thing that I changed was I started using this primer serum. Like this is just like the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme, like, 
I will repurchase this and repurchase this and repurchase this. Like this has taken over the place of my Touch and Soul Pretty Filter um, Skin Balm, Glassy Skin Balm. Like that has replaced this and this is like a fraction of that price. So I highly recommend you guys picking this up. Like if you don't pick nothing else up out of my favorites, pick this up. Pick this up. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about a primer found, a primer, why? I'm gonna say a primer foundation. <laughs> a foundation combination that I love together for full coverage. And then one I love on its own, and one is a complete miss if I leave it on its own. And together, they will give you the best full coverage looking foundation that you have seen that does not look cakey, that does not look dry, that's not too dewy, but it's, y'all, y'all. So what I've been mixing to get like the perfect amount of full coverage for me is my Wonder Beauty foundation and my Becca foundation. My Wonder Beauty foundation is in the shade medium and then my Becca foundation is in the shade buttercup. These two together are part of my steam room proof foundation routine. Now, on the contrary, this one I love on its by itself for a lighter makeup look. So like I love this by itself if I'm just gonna, I love this by itself if I'm gonna do just the bronzer and the crease and something real light and fast and in a hurry. I love the Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion. So this is a favorite even by itself because I love the way it makes your skin look. I love the amount of dewiness that it has. And I love, like I just love this foundation for my skin. The shade matches perfect, which I actually thought it was gonna be kind of pinky, but it's not, it's perfect for me. So that is the Nude Illusion in Medium. Now, this one on the other hand is a complete miss for me when I'm not using it in conjunction with the Wonder Beauty foundation. It's too dry, it's too matte, it's too thick, it's too creasy on me when I use it by itself. And I do have a foundation dupes video coming up because this reminds me of something. Now this would probably be really, really pretty on my skin during the summer when my skin's a tight, like, like a smidge bit more oily and I can use this and I won't have to set this. You know what I mean? So this is a, this is a, one of the foundations for me that I don't have to set all over my face just where I apply concealer. But for that reason, like I said, right now during the time of year it is and with the weather back and forth and my skin being as dry as it is, this looks terrible on my skin. Terrible on my skin. And the reason it looks terrible is because like I said, it is a little bit more thick. So if I don't set it, it's super creasy. But if I do set it, I look way too dry. And that's why it's a fail right now for me. Still trying to work with it and see how I can get it to a place where I like it on its own but I just don't know, like it's just not happening right now. So yeah, in conjunction with the Wonder Beauty Foundation, I love it. Okay guys, something that made it from last month's favorite has made it to February favorites. You guys, I can, I just cannot put this concealer down. That is the e.l.f. Camo, Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I have mine in the shade Medium Peach. And I have already bought a backup because as you can see, like I am powering through this concealer. I love this concealer. It's just, <sighs> if I could use this as a foundation, I would. But when I've tried that, it makes me break out. So if I could use this as a foundation, I would, because that's how much I love this concealer. I love the formula. A little bit goes a really long way and I forget that every single time that I use it. But there's like, it's creamy. It doesn't crease. Like I already have, lines so of course my lines are going to show but like it doesn't like pile in like it doesn't set into those lines if that makes sense i don't know like this is just a really good concealer and it's obviously it's really good because it's made it this far with me okay you guys so i feel bad because i was like in my video where i use all of my box all of my subscription box makeup i was like I don't see a difference in this one and the one that I got in my Ipsy because it's the same brand and I was just like, I feel like it's gonna be the same, but I have fallen in love with this Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. This applies a filter to your skin, but because it is so white, it does 
cause a cast on your face where you have to kind of super brawn or go in very light handed with it. And this claims to not have flashback, but I think it does have flashback and I can tell that just by seeing what my under eye looks like with my filming lights. I can tell it's gonna have flashback with the camera. So that's kind of a false claim, but whatevs. It's still really good. I don't take flash pictures all the time, but sometimes, but I mean, if that's a claim, like I guess you guys need to know about it. I don't take flash photography. I don't have a reason to worry about flash photography all that often. But since that is one of the claims of the powder, I wanted to mention it. The next thing I did fall in love with is this Wet and Wet and Wild Halo Glow Blush Lighter. Oh, that's cute. Blush Lighter palette and I have mine in the shade After Sex Glow. I can only imagine what the other shades look like. This is really pretty. I like it because sometimes this one on its own can be just a little bit too light, but mixed together is really, really pretty. That's what I have on my cheekbones today. And like I said, it's really pretty. Wet and Wild just does their thing with highlighters for only five bucks. So do go out and I do recommend this one. If not, just try any of their highlighters, any of their highlighters and they're bomb.com, okay? And this is just them swatched and that's just the order that they're in. So that's just how pretty those highlighters are, you guys. Like they're super duper pretty. Okay, one of my next favorites is this Lovecraft Beauty Blush Palette. Now you have this, have this, have this, oh! This palette is super pretty because I feel like you have your light flush, you have your like warm your warm blush, and then you have like your cool tone mauve blush. These are so soft and creamy, you guys. Like looking at it in the pan, you're like, man, those look kind of dry. But no, like these are so good. So, so good. I love them so much. Wow, I kind of swatched that one way over here and these two right up on each other. Hold on. Oh, that's funny. So that is all three blushes right there. These are so good. They look really pretty and smooth on your cheeks. And I know it doesn't sound like something like, why wouldn't blush look smooth? But believe me, some people have that problem. And so I just wanted to say that this palette looks super smooth and super pretty on your cheeks. Okay, I do have a few lip, not a few. I have quite a, I have a few lip products. Um, my first three are lip liners and first two are the LA Girl, the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners. Now these ones are the wooden ones, but I like these. They are super matte and they can be drying if you don't take care of your lips. I noticed on the days, so I have, I noticed on the days where I don't like take care of my lips too good, like they're super drying on my lips. And on the days where I kind of been making sure to moisturize my lips, they're really good. So I have it the shade um cafe right here i'm pretty sure you're supposed to pronounce that with the mix with the spanish accent so cafe i have the shade cafe right here and then i also have the shade blushing and i have one more that i just purchased and you'll see that in my new drugstore haul and so that one is the shade blushing. Like I said, these can be drying if you're not taking care of your lips, but if you're taking care of your lips, these are really great lip liners that aren't going to move, budge, no matter what you put on top of it, no matter what you do, these last all day long. And the last lip liner that I have is a ColourPop Lippy Pencil. Now I have this one in the shade Little One. So you can see like they all are a different shade of nude. One's a brown, one's a mauve, one's more like of a pinky nude. And so I like this one because it's super creamy. So you can fill in your lips completely with the ColourPop one and it's not ever going to feel driving, driving. It's not ever going to feel drying. And so a uh, lip gloss that I have fallen in love with is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip and I have mine in the shade Swan Song. The only thing I don't like is the brush. I feel like I can't be too precise with the brush. With the brush. One thing you do have to make sure though is with these ColourPop lip glosses is not to apply too much. Cause when you apply too much, it feels really goopy and really thick and it's just like uncomfortable. But if you apply like a nice thin layer just to coat your just to coat your lips, I was gonna say lashes, just to coat your lips one time, then it's it's perfect. 
but like I said, if you apply too much, it can get that super goopy, sticky feeling. So be careful, you're warned, be careful. The last thing I have fallen in love with is this Luxie Beauty Sponge, and this came in my BoxyCharm box, and this is the one that's for their creams and liquids. So it's the one that has the point like this, and it's the nude color one. You guys, this it, it's, a, it's a little bit more dense than other sponges, but the way it applies, your makeup is really beautiful. It's also a little rough to clean, like it's a little bit hard to clean. But like I said, the way it applies your makeup is so, like it helps it melt into your skin while at the same time, it's like blurring everything as you go and applying the maximum coverage almost as if you were using a brush. And it works great with setting powder too. So yeah, I really do like these this sponge. I mean, you can find good ones at the at the drugstore, really good ones. All my sponges back there are drugstore. This one, like, I'm surprised. I don't know like this is a really good sponge like I don't want to tell you to go out and buy the whole set for $40 when I do recommend drugstore punch sponges but y'all this sponge is real good like real real good <laughs> so it's like I mean if you have the money try it out if you don't it's not life changing like uh, like it's not life changing you can live without it <laughs> But other than that, you guys, that is it for today's video. These are all of my favorites. Let me know what your favorites have been down in the description box below. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.